This video is brought to you by Card Empire. If you're looking for Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, or Magic of the Gathering, this is the place to be. Oh, what's up, people? Dobbs Wars is right here, and oh, I feel a spirit in the mist. Is it a ghost? Is it a ghost from the past? Maybe. But before we start, please check out Card Empire, the place to be in Manchester, Stockport, and Liverpool. And who are you gonna call? Ghosts from the past! Yes, we finally got some ghosts from the past. I've got myself two boxes right here. Their first edition, which is awesome. And if you guys want to know, this set is very, very cool. There has been a lot of root there has been a lot of people talking about it, saying how bad it is, because there's no Dark Magician Girl Ghost Rare. Yes, it hurts as well because they replaced it with um, Quasar Dragon, which I was not happy. But still, the blue eyes is expensive and the original artwork of Dark Magician Ghost Rare is a freaking must find. Having it as a Ghost Rare is extremely expensive. And this is the first time me opening up a box of these. So I am excited. Hopefully you guys are. Let me go ahead and grab my trusty letter opener because... They do have, they have been changing the boxes for quite some time now with Konami, which I am very happy they have though, because you guys know a lot of people like scalpers and people who are opening products and uh, resealing them. You can definitely tell if they've been resealed or not. But let's go ahead and crack these open. I'm very excited. And as you guys know, I will be keeping Ghost from the Past, one of the products that I do have, for keeping one sealed just for momentums. You know, just for good old memories, like I did with all the rest of them. But this, I will definitely must open up today. And this is supposed to be one of the biggest sets for quite some time though, because it's uh, it's quite freaking big, to be honest. I have to go read the back of the blur of the pack, just so I know what we are, have ourselves in for. So we have six packs, let's read the back. So you have five cards in every pack, and every single card is 127 ultra rare cards including the not including the five ghost rares so altogether there are a hundred and thirty a hundred and thirty five a hundred hundred thirty five or hundred thirty two it's one of the two but I think it's 132 but like I said pulling the ghost rares are hard to do because there's only five in the set and there's over 100 cards as ultra rares. So I will put the price on and off. So I will be going slow either way. But if I do start to get a lot of duplicates. And if they don't worth as much. they won't. You won't have a proper price on it. But if it's like over a quid. I will put the price on it. So let's get this underway. First pack. What do we have? I don't have a clue what the card trick will be. because To get the ghost rare. But I have no idea. We have yourself the Silovard. I won't be sleeping any of these up today yet. I'll sleep them up later on. We have Tackle Crusade. Nice. We have Time Thief Regenerator. We got Unseed Twin. That's a cute card. And Dragon um, Drag Unity Remus. That's a nice card. And it's a tuner as well. That's good. So not bad pack to start it all off. Like I said, people, I want to try and go a little bit slow with these packs because I have no idea where the Ghost Rare will be or if we do get the Ghost Rare because if we do get a Ghost Rare, it's going to be unbelievable. We have Salvage. Gear Town, let's go for my Ancient Gear decks. Awesome. Oh, let's freaking go! Buster Dragon, I remember this card. It was... Shortly printed. I am so happy we got a reprint and it's ultra rare, which is awesome. I'm sure that card is worth something beautiful as ever. We got Time Thief um, retrograde, retrograde and Shooting Star Dragon TGEX. Beautiful, nice card. I think the most expensive card there at the moment. I'm going to put the ones that actually have a feeling that might be worth something. I, well, definitely my. Gear Town I want, but Buster Dragon is a definite must to pull a card. But I might be completely wrong, and that could be the cheapest card of the whole thing. We have ourselves um, Metal Force, um, Artifact um, Drudal, 
Mass change, good for your elemental hero decks, sweet. We got Time Thief Winder, sweet. And Time Thief Adjuster, another one of the new cards if I remember. That's cool, I'm happy with that. So there will be a lot, a lot of prices popping up here, people. So it's just to give you an estimate on what these cards could go for on and off. Because, like I said, prices do change every single day. So make sure these, um, just letting you guys know, these are not 100% on the point. We've got Time Thief Bezel Ship. Royal Prison. Nice card. I think, I'm, I think that's a reprint, too. We've got Time Thief Flyback. A lot of Time Thief cards. We got a uh, Metal Force combination. Oh! <laughs> Let's go! We got Necros of the Acrobat. Let's freaking go! The Necros are coming back. Oh, yes. I'm sure this card is worth something. If you guys are into your Necros, this is a card you want. That's going straight into that little pile right there. I'm sure that is worth something. Oh, baby. That is awesome. We've only got two packs left. Our look is going to be a little bit thin. Probably we're not going to get the ghost rare, but like I said, we never say never. We always try. We, try, we always try hard. We got um, stealing. Oh, let's freaking go! We got heretic dragon king of Atum. Oh, I loved this dragon set. They, these dragons so much. They're definitely going straight into my pile right here. We got Backup Sanctuary. What the hell is this? We got Sun of Alan Dryas. Never seen that card before. It's quite cool. Oh! Ha oh, Shadol oh, Hollow! Oh my god! Shadol's are here too! Let's freaking go! I am so happy. I don't have a clue how much that's worth, but it's definitely going in that pile that I wanted. Oh, that is awesome. Another Shadol card, but it's a different one. It's a Hell Shadol, which is different. Final pack. Oh, another Atricia card. Okay. Terror of Atricia as an Ultra Rare. We just did a, a deck opening just before, which is awesome. We got Gingus. Um, we know this card. It's classic. We got Gold Driver. <laughs> Let's go. We got another Buster Dragon. I'll take the Buster Dragons any day. Let's go. And we get ourselves a Larval Archer, which again is another card that's in the Hidden Arsenal series. Series That is awesome. Man, out of two boxes, out of six packs, I think we did extremely well on finding some good cards. Of course, I have no idea how much these are all worth. Like I said, Future Me will definitely price them all up. But really, they are quite beautiful as always, and I do love the holographic sets and everything. Even though sometimes they do lose the value and everything, but when it comes to Ghost Rares, you know these products are going to sell out like gold. They're going to be like Sugar Puffs Limited Edition. <laughs> so you get yourself two Buster Dragons, I got myself a Hell Shadol, a Hell Shadol Hollow, we got King of Atum, and we got the brand spanking new Necros card. I think they're the most expensive cards I got today, but I'm not 100% sure. It might be down there. But either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This is the start of Ghosts from the Past. I will be opening up some more in the near future, but at this moment in time, I'm having a bit of a break from them at the minute because I want them to mature and have the price go even stronger. With that being said, the people I'm sleeping with are you guys subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Wow, two Buster Bl two Buster Dragons, a Hell Shadol, a King of a Tomb, and a Necros. Let's freaking go! I like getting these. These are nice. I don't have a clue what the values are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Oh! 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 oh my God! We got him! We got him! Oh my God! No! Oh! 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 Oh my god!